In this video, we're going to show hand gesture control of the quad rotor through the Kinect sensor. So, what we have here is, is a Kinect sensor and it's going to detect my body. Uh, if I put my, my hands up in a calibrating position, it should soon detect the skeleton, my little skeleton frame. So, uh, as I move my hands around, it can detect the, the positions of my hands. And, what, and in, the, in, in the two examples that follow, uh, first, I can take off and land the quad rotor by raising and lowering my right arm. And at the same time, once it's, once it's in the air, I can control the quad rotor by waving my left hand around. Uh, we have two examples to show you. In the first example, uh, my, my hand behaves as if there's some sort of imaginary joystick in the air, so I can apply a velocity command to the left or to the right, forward or back. In the second example, uh, my hand acts more as a position control. Uh, so there's another level of control added where, um, it, tr where it tries to have the quad rotor track my hand's position in the air. Okay, so next we are going to show you the direct control mode. Basically, through the gesture, uh, we can give direct velocity input to the uh, quadcopter. And in order to do that, we predefine some gestures. So we use the left hand to control the move forward, backward, left, and right. As you can see, the detection software correctly identify all the joints inside uh, Andrew's body, and we can just use the transition between left hand and right hand to the torso to compute the amount where we would like to input to the quadcopter. Yes, one more thing, we use the right hand to control the takeoff and land. So let's take off. And right now we are moving left. Moving left. Move forward. Move forward. Move backward. Left. Right. So in the second part, we're going to show you the target specification mode. It's different from the first uh, operation mode in that we're not going to specify any velocity, we're not going to specify the uh, velocity of the quadcopter. Instead, we'll give, uh, we will show what the target we would like the quadcopter to fly to. As you can see, there is a right circle moving around the um, control window. This is the target region the quadcopter will be fly to if it is powered down. And it's controlled by Andrew's left hand. So we defined the projection between Andrew's left hand to the actual uh, operation region. So that once Andrew moves his left hand, the, um, target, uh, the target circle as you can see, the red circle on the screen will move according to uh, Andrew's hand. And all the white dot is the historical uh, target specified by the gesture. Again, this is the uh, gesture detection window. The package correctly captures all the drawings inside Andrew's body, as well as the relative uh, position. Yep. Uh...
As you can see, the quadcopter moves according to the destination specified by Andrew's gesture. Yeah, so it looks like the quadcopter is chasing the red circle on the screen.